One of the reasons everyone should go all cloud is to have modern cloud management. And that's where the tools do a lot of the work for you so you can focus on the cool stuff. Now let's take something that every admin loves, patching. And with all the stuff that you have in the cloud, shouldn't Microsoft just take care of this for you? And the answer is yes. Yes, they can. Here in the Intune portal, click right over here on Tenant Administration. Scroll down until you see Windows Auto Patch and click Tenant Enrollment. And you can read through all the details here, but the most important part is right over here. You need a Windows E3 license or higher to use this service. If you have that, there's no additional cost for Auto Patch. So check the box at the bottom and click Agree. Well, it uh, looks like I've got an issue that I've got to resolve here before I can use Auto Patch. So I'll just click to view the details and it looks like I've got an admin license issue and this is actually a quick fix. Back on the left, scroll up to the top and click on roles and now click admin licensing and then just click the button to allow unlicensed admins. Then go back to auto patch enrollment, click here and rerun the checks and now we can enroll. Here you're granting Microsoft access into your tenant and they're gonna do a few things and that's create the auto patch app, generate the policies and groups, do some management on your devices as it relates to patching, and then collect and store all of that data so they can do the reporting for you as well. And if you're good with all of that, check the box and click agree at the bottom. Now you need to enter some contact information for the auto patch folks to reach out to you for any kind of problems or issues. And you need to provide a primary and then a secondary contact. Then just click complete. And that'll go ahead and complete the process in the background. Once it's ready, you can look here at the devices blade and you've got a new section right over there for Windows Auto Patch. So click on your devices and let's start onboarding. Now, before you click the Discover Devices, first click this link over here. And this is just one of the many groups that the Auto Patch service is going to create, but please do not touch any of these other groups or bad things are gonna happen. The only group that you should be adding members to is this one. You can onboard any of your hybrid or Azure AD joint devices with these groups, and you can also enroll your Windows 365 Cloud PCs. More on that in a minute. So just click here to add a new member, add any group that you have that contains all of your computers or add them directly, and in just a few seconds, you're done. Now, as with a lot of things in Intune, it might take a couple hours before all this gets populated. So if you're impatient like I am, just go ahead and click the Discover Devices now, which will look for changes in that group membership and get everybody onboarded. And once that's all complete, you'll have some devices ready for us to use. And we've got three different tabs here, the ones that are ready, the ones that are maybe not ready, and then the other ones that are not registered. And the reason why I've got these guys here is because some of my Azure AD joined VMs are not in tune managed. The other issue is because I'm using Windows multi-session OS and that's not supported by Auto Patch today. So if you're using AVD and you want Windows Auto Patch to support the multi-session operating systems, it's not going to happen on its own. You need to click this link, which is down in the video description, and let the product team know. Then we can all start enjoying Windows Auto Patch. Now scroll down on the left and look at Windows 365. Of course, you need to be onboarded for that service before you can see this section. But when you do, you can go to the top at the provisioning policies, select any of your existing policies or create a new one, and then click over to edit the configuration. And all you have to do here is change the radio button to Windows Auto Patch, then click next and click update. Then you can either check back in a while or you can click the discovery button again. And now you're going to see your cloud PCs here ready for you to auto patch. Speaking of which, now that we've got some devices, let's forge the rings of power. Now, if you're familiar at all with Intune's update rings or Windows Update for Business, then you know what these tools can do for you. But Windows Auto Patch gives you the tools and the mechanic to do the job for you. And you see here the ring groups that each device will be a member of. But this cloud PC here, it needs to change groups because that's the CEO's PC and we don't want to patch Adam's system until at the very end of the cycle. So just check that box and then click device actions at the top and assign device group. Pick from the drop down whatever group you want it to be a member of and hit save. And of course, it can take a while for this change, so your patience will be rewarded. Then you can just sit back and the service will work its magic while you can focus on more important things. Let's take a look at the patches here. 
Over on the left, go to Release Management, and here you'll find your release schedule, and you can pause or resume your patching right here. And under each rollout, you'll have the groups and the desired dates of when they were available and completed. On the Release Announcement tab, you can click the link here for each of the KBs and get the DL. Nice. And the Release Settings over here will give you control over the Quality Updates and the M365 Updates. And you can also customize things. Just click the ellipse here for any of your groups and click Manage Deployment Cadence. And you can pick if the path should happen ASAP or be scheduled for later. And the deferral period here lets the patches be rolled out to the group up to 14 days after the release. And each one of the groups gets its own deadline and grace period. Just make your changes and click Save. Then go back to the ellipse and click on Manage Notifications. This is going to use Windows Update Notifications, and you have the option here to turn it all off if you want, or just enable some of the notifications. When you've got it the way you like, click Save again, and then click Next. Then you can review your changes and click Apply. Now once the cycle has run, AutoPatch also takes care of all of the reporting. And on the very left here, go to Reports, and near the bottom, you have your Windows Quality Updates. And your report should look something like this. And there's lots of categories for your devices, if they're healthy or not up to date or ineligible. And at the top, you can dig into the more detailed reports and filter those things by update status or deployment rings. Finally, you can click over there and export everything to save your records or share them with others. And of course, this is just the beginning of what Windows Auto Patch could do for you. So comment below with your questions and requests for follow-up videos. And I'm gonna link those right over here and happy learning.